Okay, this is not an art form, it's just a test. The test is to see what is the trigger level that the uh, ALF uh, duty cycle, the, uh, the uh, driver, the uh, uh, LVDS driver to, to trigger. Um, this will give you an input of, of where to set an offset if you need to. Uh, basically what you're doing, simply input a triangular shape and let's uh, show this shape where's my mouse over here so it's a triangular with an offset and let's change the time base a little bit so i could highlight it better and that's about there so the idea is at some point the um, if you are at the middle trigger it will trigger with 50 percent duty cycle if you change the uh, the offset in one direction or the other it will be either lower or higher than the trigger level I have the red trace that seems to trigger a little bit lower than the others but if i go a little bit down then nothing is trigger anymore forgot to show you average maximum and minimum so the maximum 130 volt and it does not uh, trigger anything if i increase the voltage now uh, some triggering and let's go back to 2i for the trigger at some point around even more so now the triangular shape is too high it will all be always be a one so i everything is gone now now you look at the minimum voltage 132 so between 130 and 132 uh this is a no man's land zone for the operation of this logic analyzer um let's move back to some kind of a duty cycle display um found something interesting in regard to the uh sampling well if you got this you you have of one analog and one other analog uh, bandwidth equivalent for the logic analyzer um, you could use a logic analyzer for the trigger uh, let's say we trigger on instead of channel one you could trigger on any one of those those are square wave AC coupling you could do DC coupling doesn't matter so it trigger on the shape so it's trigger on, uh, what was it? Uh, D5, D5 is over here. So D5 is, is stable. And you see a jitter for the others. One interesting thing to do is disable everything. And now the trigger is, is not occurring anymore because it's, it's not there. And you recover, of course, the uh, the entire bandwidth. But let's activate again the logic analyzer. Uh, found an issue. It's not really an issue. Let's first trigger on back on the channel one. Um, now we got the bandwidth occupied by the uh, by the logic. You could disable one by one and in in this state the logic analyzer is still taking the bandwidth even though the uh, there is nothing on the display so we don't recover one trace with one uh, 1.25 giga sample per second so the the way to solve it is simply click two time on it and now we got back the 
maximum bandwidth of the scope. So that's an uh, well, if you know if you know about it, it's not a bug. Uh, it's a feature. So that's about it. Uh, I will set up something with uh, uh, SPI and and I square C uh, next. I'm not there yet, but I want to at least verify that the uh, trigger level what they were for this for this uh, board. 